we got a bunch of information regarding Grand Theft Auto 6. And then this right here is the full chart all the way up from the 5060 to the 5090 without me having to blur it out for 20 minutes long and make you watch a entire video with all of that kind of stuff. I am going to get back to the specs. I just quickly want to show you guys the articles of Grand Theft Auto 6 so that you can understand I am not just spitting diarrhea out of my mouth. This is actually stuff that is being talked about right now. Leaks regarding the entire game pretty much. Also Red Dead Redemption 3. Just wanted to share this really quickly. But I want to do something a little bit different than everybody else and talk about what Grand Theft Auto 6 is going to be like with the 50 series graphics cards that we know about right now and i do want to say graphics is not what i'm going to be talking about i'm going to be talking about the features that we know about with the 50 series like artificial intelligence how games are going to be rendered path tracing ray tracing and all of that kind of stuff so i'm pretty sure yeah this is the last article regarding grand theft auto 6. so this right here grand theft auto 6 pc release is expected shortly after its console release date dedicated to drag strip leaks so what i want to cover as you guys can i'm going to go ahead and disable my camera really quickly so that you can get an idea of what my beautiful lovely face is covering real quick just wanted to say that if you would like a pc from me my facebook business page is linked down in the description below i do not charge you anything other than the cost of parts which i do in fact give you a full list of everything with the final cost before i order it all with my own money you do not pay me anything until you see the video the performance the benchmarks and all of that kind of stuff so again link down in the description below um but do keep in mind that this right here, I mean, it's probably all guesses. So just keep that in mind. Keep your expectations realistic. I cannot see a 4070 being better than a 5060 based off of what we are seeing regarding the leaks. But again, like I said, leaks most of the time are just guesses. So why am I excited for Grand Theft Auto 6? Coming from somebody that has probably uploaded like maybe one or two videos on this video game because of what we know about with the 50 series cards if we use these 50 series cards in grand theft auto 5 imagine exploring the entire world of grand theft auto 5 think about all of the people roaming the streets artificial intelligence the communication the voices the the random quests that you're going to be able to get all of that kind of stuff you can't tell me that that is not going to be cool I don't care if people like are going to say, oh, it's going to get repetitive. Dude, it's artificial intelligence. You have to remember that it's not just going to be like spitting out the same thing to you every single time you go and contact an NPC. It is going to be different. You know what I mean? So just keep that in mind. The second reason that I'm excited for this is because with the 50 series, you already know that this 70% increase is not going to be for graphics. The leaks that we're seeing with this 40 to 70% increase, first of all, I'm guessing the 40% increase is going to be with something like the 5060, and then the 50% the increase will be with the 5070, the 60% will be the 5080, and then the 70% is going to be the ridiculously inflated and overpriced 5090. And I'm saying that not to hop on this bandwagon of everybody complaining about NVIDIA overcharging and overpricing their graphics cards. I'm fully aware that they are actually doing this guys, but you have to keep in mind, you have to keep in mind NVIDIA is innovating. They're not doing the same thing as AMD. So you really, you can't compare NVIDIA to AMD at this point because it is just obvious nvidia is look i'm i really i hate the fact that i even have to do this i need to make this clear right now i don't if, if amd was nvidia i would be saying i would be supporting amd all the way i don't care whether it's nvidia amd or intel i care about the company that is offering the best product and the product that i am going to enjoy the most and the product that is going to be useful for me personally the reason I like NVIDIA graphics cards is because of the productivity space and then the just overall performance and stability of those graphics cards. That is why I like NVIDIA. If AMD had the same stuff NVIDIA has, I would be supporting them all the way. So now that I cleared that up, okay, the re... Now that I cleared that up, I already forgot what I was trying to say. So the 50 series graphics cards, the path tracing, the ray tracing... 
whatever. I forgot what I was going to say. I knew I hate it. The fact that you even have to do this with it, it's so stupid. It really blows me away. But the, the moment you say anything negative about AMD, bro, you're literally starting a war, which to be honest, I should probably just stop caring and stop explaining myself because that's just going to drive engagement in the comments. And I just don't care. Like, <laughs> whatever, because I already forgot what I was going to say. I have whatever I have mental problems i'll admit it i don't care so grand theft auto 6 leagues feature a dedicated drag strip i don't need to read all of that that's literally all we need we need to talk about so this right here the minimum requirements for grand theft auto 6 these are the minimum system requirements that you're going to need and then the recommended system requirements are going to be the 10 900k which is i'm going to guess that's probably like like an i5 14 Or I want to say this is probably equivalent to like a 13700K. Or a 13, to be on, I don't know, dude. I can't remember. This is probably equivalent to like even an i5 at this point. Because the 13th generation was a massive bump in performance. Even regardless, even though it was a refresh. So either way, you've seen this. Then the recommended is an RTX 3080, and then the the AMD Radeon 6800 XT. I think it's coming back to me. What I was saying about AMD and uh, Nvidia and Intel, I don't care about these companies. So with the path tracing, the ray tracing that Nvidia is offering inside of video games, the artificial intelligence that they're like we're going to be communicating with NPCs in these worlds. Dude, I find that very interesting. I find that very cool. And eventually, this is an idea that I had. Actually, I'm going to put some footage up from the other day about the... I, I, I went down to meet with my friend with about the 3D printing stuff that I want to start making stuff for. Like a, a GPU bracket, the, the new 10,000 megahertz RAM, like the artificial intelligence uh, printed stuff that MSI had at Computex with like the... The dragons around the graphics cards um if i remember to put that up i'll put it up if i i'm pretty sure i still have the recordings and uh so that's why i'm excited with, with nvidia and then grand theft auto 6 it's just because it just they're doing so much with it that oh okay that's where i was going okay so you can't really compare i knew i was i was like this is not what i was talking about i have to do that like my mind just never shuts up guys all right. I, I struggle with high functioning autism. I know I've said this numerous times. I hate having to repeat it every single time, but that is why I forget. And that is why I'm always getting off topic. And to be honest, that is why I make the videos the way that I do is because believe it or not, when I'm sharing this stuff with you, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm very bad at taking in information while I'm reading. I, I literally, the reason I make the videos, dude, is because I learn as I'm editing and I want to learn. I like learning about this stuff. I find it interesting, but anything, it doesn't matter if it's computer science. It doesn't matter if it's math, social studies, English, science. It doesn't matter what it is, dude. I cannot, it's very difficult for me, for me to take in the information. So when I'm rewatching these videos, that is how I'm learning. And that is why I explain stuff the way that I do. And it is also the reason I make the videos the way that I do so that it can entertain me personally. I don't care if it's like too ADHD for you. Man, I got off topic again. So NVIDIA and all that kind of stuff. The, I'm going to share the articles so that because I already forgot I got off topic. <laughs> um, <laughs> I know. I'm, I, so it, you can't compare NVIDIA to AMD. That's where I was going. So because NVIDIA is really innovating. AMD is just still, dude, they're still just making graphics card for gamers. That's literally it. And that's great. Who cares? If that's all you want to use your graphics card, that's awesome. By all means, get an AMD graphics card, but don't expect to be able to compare your AMD graphics card that's half the price of an NVIDIA graphics card when your stupid AMD graphics card is only good at gaming. <laughs> it's not like you can't compare that. That's not fair. That's like comparing uh, uh, whatever uh, the I don't want to get unmonetized. So I'm thinking about a way to explain this because I know it'll happen if I do it. Think about a soccer player that's an actual girl and then think about the other soccer player that is a guy that wants to be a girl on that exact team. How is that fair for this guy that wants to be a girl to compete against girls? Of course they're going to be better. They have more muscles and stuff, dude. I'm not saying that there's no talented feet. Like, I'm just using that as an example. And I don't care if, if that's your cup of tea, dude. I don't care. I'm not trying to be negative with this. 
I have friends that are in that area. I don't care if that is what you do with your life. It just doesn't mean anything to me. There's a lot of really nice people that are that way. I'm just using that as an example because I know there's going to be a lot of comments. Oh, this guy literally just said that. I don't care if that's what you do, dude. I'm, I'm a very respectful person. I don't care what people do with their life. It is their life. They can choose what they want to do with it. So anyways, I don't even remember what I was talking about. AMD, NVIDIA, you can't compare them. So anyways, I, I, I know I got way off topic here. So the reason pretty much the 50 series, let me go back to this so that you guys can see it again. So these are the spec. Keep in mind, I don't look, dude, all these people, I'm just being honest when I say it, man. They're all guessing. They're all guessing. It is fun to look at. It is fun to like speculate about. I get it. But to like stamp a leak or rumor, dude, it just, or your inside source, it's just so misleading. Because again, look, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. But the internet isn't very intelligent anymore. So when people post leak, they think it's real. And then they go and pre-order the 5090 Ti because they're like, oh my gosh, it's like, it's literally like four times better than a 4090 because we got four graphics cards in a row down. Even though it's not four times, you get my point. They're like, oh my God, I'm going to buy this $5,000 graphics card pre-order. And then they get it and they're whatever, let down. It's like AMD at Computex. Literally, Hardware Unbox made a video about AMD like completely over exaggerating everything that they announced, which is just a it's a it's just and it's not just AMD, Nvidia and Intel do it as well. I could be incorrect about this, but I'm pretty sure Intel has not done it with their graphics cards yet. Could be wrong about that, <laughs> but uh, I'm actually rooting for Battle Mage. I hope I really hope that Intel can bring us a good graphics card. But that's pretty much everything that I wanted to cover with you guys. Let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. I'm very excited for the 50 series graphics cards just because of NVIDIA innovating. It just, it's something new. Also, that computer back there, I have it for sale if one of you want it. Um, had a no-show, so now I'm stuck with the computer. Awesome. Amazing. I really love when that happens. Thank you if you're watching this. Thank you so much for making me spend $2,500 of my own money and then just ghosting me and not showing up. Appreciate you so much, buddy. But uh, yeah, and I, I will ship it to you guys as well. Um, 